Imagine a vast African landscape millions of years ago. The sun casts golden rays over a sprawling savanna where distant figures move across the terrain. These creatures walk upright, communicate with one another, and use rudimentary tools, yet they are not quite human. They are our ancestors, the early members of the hominin lineage, embarking on a journey that will eventually lead to us, Homo sapiens. But how did we get here? What forces shaped our evolution? And how does our DNA hold the secrets to our past? Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey through time, unraveling the story of human evolution. Through fossil discoveries, genetic breakthroughs, and cutting-edge science, we will uncover how our species came to be and what makes us truly unique. Stay with us until the end, as we reveal the most fascinating discoveries that reshape everything we thought we knew about our origins. The dawn of humanity, our earliest ancestors. To understand where we come from, we must go back way back. Scientists estimate that life on Earth began around 3.5 billion years ago, but our direct lineage, the primates, emerged roughly 60 million years ago. Among these early primates, a small group of species evolved traits that set them apart. Larger brains, forward-facing eyes for depth perception, and dexterous hands capable of grasping branches. Over millions of years, this lineage gave rise to the great apes, our closest relatives, including chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans. But at some point between six and seven million years ago, our ancestors took a different path. One of the first known species in this lineage was Sarlanthropus chidensis, discovered in Chad. With both ape-like and human-like features, this species may have been one of the first to walk upright. Why was bipedalism so crucial? Walking on two legs freed the hands for tool use, allowed our ancestors to cover long distances efficiently, and may have even helped them survive in the shifting climate of ancient Africa. Over time, more species emerged, each one a stepping stone on the road to modern humans. Australopithecus afarensis, famously represented by the fossil Lucy, lived about 3.2 million years ago and walked upright but still had features adapted for climbing trees. This species set the stage for what came next a genus that would change everything, Homo. The rise of the Homo genus, around 2.5 million years ago, the first members of the Homo genus appeared. These early humans had larger brains, made more sophisticated tools, and adapted to a variety of environments. Among them was Homo habilis, often called the handyman due to its association with some of the earliest known stone tools. Following Homo habilis, a new species arose Homo erectus. This was a game-changer in human evolution. Homo erectus was the first to master fire, migrate out of Africa, and develop complex social structures. Fossils found in Africa, Asia, and Europe suggest that this species thrived for nearly 2 million years longer than any other human species to date. One of the most astonishing discoveries in recent years is that we were not alone. For much of our history, multiple human species coexisted. Neanderthals Homo neanderthalensis roamed Europe and Western Asia, adapting to colder climates with stocky builds and larger brains. Meanwhile, the Denisovans, a mysterious human group identified through DNA rather than fossils, thrived in Asia. And on the islands of Indonesia, small-statured humans called Homo floresiensis nicknamed hobbits lived alongside larger relatives. But then, something remarkable happened. The emergence of Homo sapiens, our species, Homo sapiens, first appeared in Africa around 300,000 years ago. Fossil evidence from Jebel Urhoud in Morocco suggests that early Homo sapiens had modern-looking faces but still retained some archaic traits. For thousands of years, our ancestors remained in Africa, developing more complex tools, symbolic art, and eventually language. But around 70,000 years ago, something changed our ancestors began migrating across the globe. As they moved, they encountered and interbred with other human species. In fact, if you have non-African ancestry, a small percentage of your DNA comes from Neanderthals. 
Denisovan DNA, on the other hand, is found in certain Asian and Oceanic populations, particularly in Tibetans, who inherited a gene that helps them survive at high altitudes. This genetic legacy is a testament to the intertwined nature of human evolution. Our story is not a straight line but a web of interactions, adaptations, and migrations that shaped us into who we are today. What makes us human? So, what truly sets Homo sapiens apart? One of the defining traits of our species is our brain. While other human species had large brains, our cognitive abilities allowed for symbolic thought, advanced language, and the ability to build civilizations. We developed art, music, and rituals expressions of culture that have persisted for tens of thousands of years. Another key factor is adaptability. While other human species were specialized for certain environments, Homo sapiens thrived in nearly every habitat on Earth. From the frozen tundras of Siberia to the dense jungles of the Amazon, we found ways to survive and innovate. But perhaps our most powerful trait is cooperation. Unlike our closest relatives, we form vast social networks, share knowledge across generations, and work together in ways no other species can. This ability to collaborate is what led to agriculture, cities, and eventually the modern world as we know it. Conclusion The Future of Human Evolution Our journey through human evolution is far from over. As science advances, we continue to uncover new fossils, analyze ancient DNA, and refine our understanding of where we came from. But one question remains where are we headed? Will technology drive the next stage of our evolution? Could genetic engineering, artificial intelligence, or space colonization shape the future of our species? One thing is certain, our story is still being written. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of human evolution. If you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to SCI Discovery Chronicles, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new discovery. Share your thoughts in the comments what aspect of human evolution fascinates you the most. Until next time, stay curious.